Hey guys, and welcome back to what possibly is the finale to uh, Dino Crisis 2. Uh, things are pretty warm in here, aren't they? Holy shit. Right, let's go. It's been about eight or nine-ish days since I've played this game, so <laughs> memory is a little bit foggy on exactly what we were doing. Um, internet's still being weird. They're supposed to be replacing our forge. Oh god, hello. Nope, that's not what we wanted, is it? Um, they're supposed to be replacing our 4G um, dish, so hopefully that's going to start helping soon. Anyway, let's go. See if we can get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd forgotten how anus the aiming is in this game. And yes, of course, we always jump backwards when we use the mine uh, launcher thing, which is fine. You know, can't expect perfection. I've been spending my uh, downtime, or should I say internet free time, um, on puzzles. We have some Harry Potter puzzles that the missus got for her birthday, so... Basically, just been doing that and uh, playing Breath of the Wild again. Is there like any point in fighting these guys? Do we need any money? Can you aim at him, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we've been uh, keeping ourselves off the internet, basically, because we've had no choice. Right. So, uploading videos has been a mixed bag. Uh, I've essentially been putting them on my phone and leaving the, my phone on my back uh, uh, windowsill in my garden. And that seems to be getting us by. Right, not bad. Oh, fucking hell. Damn, there's a couple of these guys, isn't there? Jeez. Okay, let's keep pushing. Any more? Yep, of course there's more. There's always more. There is always more. Unfortunately, your um, backup weapons, I guess for a lack of a better t term, or sub-weapons, I believe the game calls them, I wish they would automatically aim at the dinos as well, but they don't. We're getting loads of money here, like absolutely tons of money. Are you okay, Regina? Get on, quick! Oh, give me a break, man! We're dead! We have to get as far away from this place as possible. Let's head down the river. For someone that looks like a hard ass, he's a bit of a bitch. Hopefully, we have everything we need. To get back to our own time. Otherwise, well, that's going to be a little bit awkward, isn't it? We can't go any oh dear. Maybe we can open the gate manually. Whoa! Let the men handle this. Let's go, bro. Fine. You boys, play nice now. Wait, didn't we do this? Pretty sure we did this. Okay. Up there. I'm sure we did this. Well, here goes. Because he gets horribly murdered. And we have to protect him. Using this rifle. We did this! Clever girl. Okay, well, I mean, I, I guess we're doing this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to use the gun. We're going to use the rifle. See if we can save David's ass. I mean, pretty sure we can't save David's ass, but we're gonna give it our best shot. No pun intended. Or maybe pun intended. Who knows? Now we know that there is an extreme amount of dinos here, and it does get quite silly. But as we're exterminating the entire Velociraptor 
uh, race. I'm not surprised about that. Yeah, because one reason I fucked this up last time was I didn't realise those uh, raptors that are approaching from the right uh, need to jump down. They don't instantly jump on him and attack. How old are you? Bingo. Dylan, let's go back. All right, Dildo, let's go. Watch out. Yeah. This is going to get awkward. I'll save you, bro. Is this like a frat party or something? Ah! I'll save you, bro. I love the way Regina just watches. She's got like 800 weapons in her pocket, but no shit's given. And Dildo has disappeared. Hey, we got the no damage at least. Right, uh, so this is where we were, I believe. I don't... Did I save state? I might have save stated the game instead of putting a, a, a hard load down. I don't know. Or a hard save down, I should say. Well, shit. Oh, yeah. Hello. Home? Yes, this is where we were. Home. I, I don't understand. You want me to come with you? Yes. This dildo, this isn't rocket science. Yeah, this is where we were. We had to protect her, didn't we? Oh, I apologize for redoing that, but I suppose... I suppose it helped me get back into the swing of things a little bit. Alright. So, walk softly and carry a fucking big gun, I guess. And this... Gun is certainly big. It's nice to see uh, Dildo get a good weapon for once. Because although the, the solid cannon's cool. Uh, oh, fuck. Can we... Thank you. Um, it's It doesn't feel very satisfying. Whereas this. This is cool. Me likey. See, look at this. Now... I'm not even tapping the aim button, but he's automatically locking on to targets. The door is locked. Only authorized personnel can access the lock. It's impossible to unlock. Well, that sucks. And why doesn't she have any weaponry or anything? Unknown area. All right, well, I don't, oh. Yeah, there we go again with the very inconsistent aiming. But hey, it is what it is, I suppose. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, he's really? And she's being hit off camera. So, I mean, that's cool. Can we use health on her? Uh, I guess we can't because that would be too convenient. All right, stay with me. Stay with me. There we go. Come on. Baby steps. That's it. I don't know what the hell I'm firing at. Just fire everything. Sometimes you might hit something. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh, great. So we can't actually... How do we get up? Really? We have to use the ladder. But she doesn't. Uh, okay. Sure, I mean, why not, I guess. Well, she almost gets killed. Because for some reason, Dildo can't climb. And she has no health left. Well, at least we're at the end of that section. That's... That's something. Oh, again, 
awful game design. Right. Smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I, I don't quite get that. I don't understand why we can watch her climb, but we can't climb us. Oh, really? Ourselves. So, is she just going off without us? Control terminal for the laser shutter. Currently, four backup locks are activated. Really? What? So, she wants us to come with her, but she's just left us here to... Okay, yeah, yeah, why not, I guess. Sure. It's a touch power panel terminal. All right, I guess. I guess we're going to be beeping the boops. I guess. So, there's going to be four of these stationed all over the place. I guess. And this rifle, where have you been all my life? Seriously, this rifle is awesome. Come on. Yeah, not much to look at when you scrape them off your boot, huh? So, I mean, I don't know what exactly we're doing here. These are very elaborate locks. Oh. Oh, that was cool. That combo timer really gives you a lot of time now, doesn't it? And all this money we're building up. And nothing to spend it on, I guess. Unless there's like some ultimate equipment or something. But I can't help but feel that we're right at the end of the game. I mean, obvious, right? Um, but I don't know if there's going to be some kind of like epic final boss. No, we lost it. We lost it. Are oh, you? Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. Really? Look at that. See, that time he didn't turn around. All the other times he's automatically turned around and aimed at the next target. That time he did not. For reasons? I don't know. I would love to see a Dino uh, Crisis game come back. It would be nice to see them bring this um, franchise back. Although, I don't know how they would do it. I would like them to keep it separate. Maybe a first person, well, or like a third person shooter type thing. I don't know. I don't know what they could do with this. Uh, I've, I heard um, uh, or I got the comment about the Dino Stalker franchise and I've never heard of that. Although maybe I have, maybe we have discussed it before in the Discord. Um, um, we'll, we'll have a look at it. We'll absolutely have a look at that before we do um, Dino Crisis 3. I knew it would all come to this. There's no way humans and dinosaurs could ever coexist. Gee, you think? But if we sacrifice our lives now, we would leave a chance for the existence of the human race. The irony is this whole facility which we are trapped in was built to sustain a suitable environment for the dinosaurs. Uh, I am the superintendent of this facility and I'm the only one left. I don't belong here. There's no future for this world. The children hurt by the dinosaurs have been put inside life-supporting chambers. I trust that the people of the past will take care of them. The life support chambers are almighty. Okay. It should be able to heal any wound, no matter how critical they may be. Also, the life support chambers will, be f will feed knowledge and teach them about this world. However, the chambers were originally designed for the growth of dinosaurs. Oof. Thus, the knowledge fed will be limited to the knowledge of coexisting with the dinosaurs. Ah, so that's what those kids are, I guess. The tragedy is that the children will eventually lose their speaking, right, speaking ability, but instead they will have been inputted the instincts to protect the dinosaurs. 
Really? B but why, though? Oh, 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 okay. Cool. Today I have recorded my message for the man who will definitely come here. With this, I have nothing to regret. So, because they're, I don't know, being spliced up with dino DNA and, and uh, I guess, brainwashed to protect the dinosaurs, they're losing their ability to speak. Ah, uh -huh. I see. Okay. So, where are we now? I guess. Ooh, this is very fancy. But they but they also have knowledge of weaponry. Can they not just like learn to speak again? Can they not just learn another language? Or is that silly, though, isn't it? Yeah, that. No, forget I said that. That's <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's just silly. Um, right, Noah's Ark plan, year two thousand and nine. It all. Oh, wow, eleven years ago. It all began in uh, Belisnia, a small republic in the southern sea. The first overdrive was the beginning of everything. During transportation, something went wrong and it resulted in a crack in the space-time which has skewed history after the Cretaceous era. To investigate the skewed biological history after the Cretaceous, an extensive experiment was conducted in a global scale. The result? Devastating. The space-time skew would take its effect on all living organisms. The Earth's history would change dramatically and the change would wipe the human race from ever existing. That was the conclusion of the experiment. Oh dear, that's bad. So is there no future to go back to then? Hmm. The plan was to transport the living organisms of the Cretaceous through the time gate to a world with similar environments, far into the future. After the crisis had passed, the organisms would then be returned to their original time. There's so many plot holes with this, this time traveling stuff. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of time travel, because just like on any level, it just does not work. The plot holes are just... Uh... Especially in a game where they don't actually um, go into the rules of their particular time manipulation. Because, you know, transporting all of these organisms into another time, onto another world, only to sit in our world and wait for the calamity to pass, just to go back uh, forwards into time on another planet to get those organisms back to then reseed the world... Sure. We called this the Noah's Ark plan. This was the only plan that would have any chance for the existence of the human race. We hope that this plan is successful and we shall uh, declare execution of this plan. <laughs> I mean, you love to see it. It's just, it's such a load of old nonsense, but it's, it's delicious nonsense, you know? Uh, yeah, we'll take the medical pack large. Like, why don't they just, like, instead of waiting out the cal uh, calamity, why don't they just put a load of stuff in storage here and um, put it in cryostasis and wait for the calamity to pass and just unleash everything again instead of putting it on another world? Or why don't they just go further back in time? And, and I'm thinking way, I'm thinking too much about it. I'm putting too, more thought into this than the developers did. Right, so... Let's go. But it does make me wonder how this game's going to end because how could there possibly, if this timeline is so fractured, how could there be a Dino Crisis 3? Unless, okay, so unless Dino Crisis 3 completely disregards these two games, which considering it's set like 600 years into the future, maybe it does, or... 600 years into the future. Maybe that that's tomorrow in this game. I don't know. It's very weird when it comes to time travel. You have to be so careful with time travel. You really do. Uh, for it to make any lick of sense. 
Uh, oh, let's actually check the shop. I don't think there's anything new, but we can charge our weapons. Probably got a lot of cash. Oh, we don't have that, do we? Well, let's put that in our back pocket. Just because, you know, we might need it at some point. Uh, I guess we could grab that. Uh, magazine. So, that doesn't really hold much, does it? That's expensive. We're doing it. So, 70 rockets should be enough. All right, let's charge this up because 120 in this is a lot. Um, let's charge this up. And um, maybe up the cartridges, 24,000. I mean, we can afford it. I mean, we've got all this money. I don't know what else we're going to use this money for. And we should probably save the game as well. So we don't have any issues. I don't think I've got a save state for this, though. I may have. I may have. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game, it's been good. It's been fun. Uh, you know, I can't carry any more items. But the plot. I mean, Resident Evil's plot is a load of old bunkin' as well. But again, it's kind of grounded in somewhat reality. But this is just a bag of anus, man. But I don't mean that in a negative. It's, you know... I feel like I've watched some of my videos back uh, when I've been editing them, and it sounds like I'm being overly critical and overly harsh on this game. And it sounds like I'm not enjoying it, but I am. This game's actually really good. I, I don't know, man, about this being up there with the greats. I'm not sure about that, but it is good. Yeah, see, they understand technology. Hello, Lieutenant Morton. A hologram? Well, how does he... Know my name. There's not much time left, so I'll explain it short and simple. On August 10th, 2055, our Noah's Ark plan became successful. Year 2055? What's he talking about? To save the dinosaurs, we transferred the dinosaurs to this time. Three million years ahead of our time. Oh. What? Three million years? Then you're from... But there was another accident and we were about to go back. The gate disappeared and we were stranded in this time. And this is the future. Yeah. There was no way for us to survive in this world where dinosaurs now rule. We, the remaining survivors, hurried to recover the gate. But it's too late now. My wife, Julia, was killed by the dinosaurs. And my loving child, she was hurt. Your name? Pa Papa. My only mission now is to protect my group. I have kept Paula and the other children safe by putting them inside life support chambers.
take the children back into your time. And now, I should introduce myself. I am former Special Forces TRAD member, Colonel Dylan Morgan. What? You're myself in the future? Oh god, this is so weird. Have much time left. There's a gate behind the door. You can use it to return to your time. The gate is not complete yet. You'll be able to use it only once. Please, say hello to Regina for me. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Hold up. What? There's not much time left. Why? Uh... Wow, they, they just went out of their way to make the most convoluted, plot hole filled mess that they possibly could. Ah, uh, we're in the future. Why did they get, try and save the dinosaurs? But why though? Why didn't they, when everything fucked up, why didn't they just go back to their time? Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Let's go shoot some dinosaurs. Come on, um, daughter. From another version of me, from the, the future. <clears throat> Who was incubated in a dino pod until she couldn't talk. The self-destruct system has been manually activated. Detonation in five minutes. What? There's Resident Evil. They have their terrible weapons. Hello, Smiler. And of course, they want to protect the dinosaurs. Oh, I'm glad I brought the rocket launcher. Um, right. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just keep running, I guess. Do I have to shoot him to knock him back? Oh, yeah, we got resus packs. Hey, that was... Useful. Oh no, how's that using the fucking resus pack? Right, okay. Let's see if this does anything against him. Can we kill him? I mean, the game's just literally handing us out points now. Which is nice. Is it even possible to kill this thing? I mean, it kind of stuns him a little bit. And if we're three million years into the future, where's all the cool fancy weapons? I mean, I guess we've got the solar cannon. That's pretty, like, futuristic and fancy. Yeah, I'm saying we can't kill this guy. Yeah, we can't kill you, can we? I mean, we can kind of knock him back a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Okay. I don't know how we get across there. Because we die instantly. 
We can't fight him. Piss off. We can't fight him. We can't... Outrun him, it would seem. Maybe we can. Just run! Okay. Yeah, you literally just have to get lucky there. Cool. Okay, well that's bad. Uh, control panel, the anti-satellite. What's the anti-satellite do? I mean, okay. Look, can you fuck off? Yeah, you're just obnoxious as hell, aren't you? You're just going to be really obnoxious. Can we not even hit you at all now? We can. But it doesn't do anything. Uh, communication line to the anti-satellite. Will you operate the terminal? Yes, we will. Three million years into the future. I mean, it kind of stuns him back a little bit, I guess, so, yeah, okay, so that does actually kind of stun him back a little bit, alright, cool, oh, fuck me, I don't even know what I was looking at there, it's like, what is going on, honestly, um, right, let's champs down on one of those, I have a rocket to the face, yeah, so every time we shoot him with a rocket, he kind of does that. No, he doesn't. Okay. I thought he did. Ah, they're going to make us run um, back and forwards between... Really? So, so there is no defense on this guy, then. Sometimes he backs off when you hit him. Sometimes he does nothing. Uh, what did that say? This is the control panel to set the target. The target has been set for the gigantic dinosaur. A years. So. Target is set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, sometimes he... Oh, God. Sometimes he does get stunned. And sometimes he doesn't. I don't... There's probably a pattern to it that I'm not seeing. But... I mean... Like now, he's not even... Paying any attention to the rockets. Or is he? I don't know. Uh, yep, let's start the anti-satellite. Now, is this the same dinosaur that we fought, like, a few times already? I guess we have all the time in the world. It's like an iron cannon. It's a very accurate piece of equipment. I'll give them that. But then what do you expect for, you know, seven, three million years into the future? Woof. Yeah. That thing's toast. Now that thing's atoms. Right. Now we're getting out of here, maybe? That could have been the final boss, though. I mean, that was anus. <laughs> yeah, imagine doing that without getting hit. I'm sure Cassie's done it. Yeah, come on, uh, daughter. Let's go. 
Are you all right? Well, that's convenient. Yeah, we don't have much time left. Let's use this gate and get out of here. Whoa. What about the other kids? I guess fuck the other kids. Paula. Oh. Oh dear. No. No. Dylan, what are we going to do? If we don't go now, we'll never get back. Regina, the gate is open. I know you don't want to, but you have to go back by yourself. I won't leave Paula. Are you crazy? Just go, please. You have the third energy data, right? When you get back to our original time, use the data to learn about third energy. Then build the perfect gate and come pick us up for the last time. I... Dylan... I will. I promise. So I guess that's how he becomes an old man. And he's going to go put her back in the thing. Uh, and then time's just going to infinitely loop. Uh, okay. 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 So. If she can just go back to her time, and I guess her time is completely unaffected by any of the stuff that's going on, why bother with any of this? Like, I, that's just the trouble with time traveling. It does. Like, this game was pretty good. It was quite a fun uh, action. Uh, what do you call it? An action adventure, I guess so. Um, it was pretty fun, you know. Uh, the story was a load of old dog shit. Like, I mean... Uh, so you would have thought Dino Crisis 3 would have been maybe Regina getting a team coming back. I think they probably... Once they wrapped up development with this game, they were just like, well, we don't even know how to continue this. Uh, because there's so many fractured times and plot holes and uh, yeah I can certainly see why they shelved this for a while and then I guess with Time Crisis 3 I mean I don't really know the story too much but I played Time Crisis 3 I uh, Time Crisis? Dino Crisis I think they probably tried to reboot it and it's it's hmm yeah. Yeah, I think this game needs a hard reboot, to be honest. Maybe we'll get that. Um, mm, yeah, I'm just trying to collect my thoughts about this. This is just... Uh, I think if I played this game back in the day, uh, as a kid, I probably would have really, really enjoyed it. I mean, the whole bit with Paula getting her legs squished at the end and stuff like that. Yeah, that kind of sucked. But I guess that just creates the time loop, doesn't it? And now he has to stay there till he's an old man and leave that message again. But then he, he's already done it. Oh, I don't know. 
I'm thinking way too much about this. It's it's definitely one of those games that once I've played it, I will probably never ever touch it again. Uh, I think it holds up very well. I mean, it's still very playable. Uh, and it is fun. It's not a very long game either. You could bust this out in a few hours easily. Uh, and I think if you, you have an interest in the Dino Crisis you know, series, it is worth playing. Uh, is it better than the first one, though? Oh. Yeah, I think so. I think I... What? Why? How? Eh? Oh, we missed a lot of dino files, apparently. <laughs> we could probably cut about 20 minutes off that time, give or take, with how much was paused. But extinction points, yeah, I guess we got a lot. I think um, they could have had more stuff in there to buy. Or maybe a New Game Plus. I know New Game Plus wasn't really a thing back then. Uh, it, there were some exceptions, but I don't think there's a lot of replayability in this game. Is there unlockable weapons? I don't know. Extra Crisis, a bonus game. Dino Coliseum, I've heard about that. That's basically horde mode with dinosaurs, I believe. And yeah, I, I'm good. Uh, player entry. What's that? Will you add a tank to the Coliseum? Oh. Okay, so... Can... Right, so there is stuff to buy. So we can play as dinosaurs, I guess. Which, cool. If you're into that sort of thing, I suppose. So that's what we do with our extinction points. Alright. So is there, like, more to add after this? I don't know. Uh, I guess we're going to drop down a save. Uh, yeah, interesting game. I'm glad I played it. It was, you know, it was... It was decent. I think that's fair. This was a decent game. It's aged. It has a lot of problems. Uh, well, no, that's not fair. It doesn't have a lot of problems. It just has a couple of quirks uh, due to its age and due to the static camera angles and, and whatnot. It's got a lot of fun weapons. I think they overdid it with the dinosaurs on the transitions. Some of them were just brutal, and the only reason they were placed there was to so, you know, the game would get an automatic hit on you with very little you could actually do about it. Um, but I guess if you just played through this game enough, you kind of learn it, and, uh, uh, you know, you would know where the enemies spawn on each transition. The sound design was all right, actually. Like... I, uh, you had those really nice um, save room, that really nice save room theme that uh, I think they carried over from the first one. That was that's actually quite nice to hear. Now, the rest of the audio didn't really stand out to me at all. It was very average. The weapons were mostly good. I mean, Regina had a freaking solid arsenal of weapons. Uh, they were loads of fun. Dylan, I mean, the solid gun was fun. It was a cool weapon, but it wasn't very satisfying to use. You know, it wasn't really punchy. It didn't have any, um, you know, it didn't sound that good. It didn't feel badass. It was just odd. It worked, which was good. Uh, better than his shotgun. His shotgun was pretty pants, really. Uh, what, else, what else did Dylan even get? He got the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle was badass. The dinosaurs were pretty cool to fight the only dinosaurs that i really didn't like was the pterodactyls they suck donkey dick um mm, i think this game's biggest problem was its story and i'm sorry but the story was ass absolute ass but the gameplay was there um and well i'm looking forward to seeing what dino stalk is all about um, I guess maybe I should, uh, try and source a copy of that. Interested to see if Dino Crisis 3 has any references to this game whatsoever. Uh, being that it's 500 odd years into the future and you've got spaceships and stuff, maybe it centers around third energy because Regina went back and they learned how to master third energy and... I don't know. Um, 
Regina was cool. We liked Regina. We grew attached to Regina in the first game. Uh, Dildo, well, yeah, he was kind of like a frat boy jackass. Wasn't really overly keen on him. And that other Indian guy, like, yeah, I mean, he was just a zero personality frat boy as well, which was a shame. Could have done more of those characters. But, you know, this is a very old game and side characters really didn't get much mention at all. I mean, if you think about it, see how much screen time Ada got in Resident Evil 2. But, uh, let's not compare this to Resident Evil 2 because it, it doesn't have a leg to stand on. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. Enjoyed the game. Holds up. Would recommend playing it. But, <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah, it, it's not the legendary masterpiece that I have been told it is by quite a few people over the years. Yeah. Anyway, till next time, guys. Till next time. Mm -hmm.